This unit deals with plant taxonomy and how plants are actually named. To do this, we need to go back and figure out why uh, plants have funny names when we look at their scientific name. What happened was that many scientific names are written in Latin. The early scholars, Latin and Greek were their language, so that's what they used. The problem became that the names were really long, they were difficult to pronounce, uh, people had a hard time figuring out what the scholars were referring to. So what has happened now is that the, the common names um, are really confusing though because we go from language to language and what might be called a red maple in our language in Russian may be referred to as something else. So there was a Swedish botanist, I know you've heard of him in science class, named Linnaeus. He came up with this two-name binomial system for naming plants. Uh, all plants that had the same genus or generic name are said to belong to the same genus. And these plants all have similar characteristics. The first name is the genus or the plant group name and the second is the species. So we look at the hierarchy of classification, and it's kingdom, which is the biggest group, followed by phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species, with species being the smallest or the most specific. So kingdom has the most plants, species has the least. How I remember this is I take the first letter of each word and came up with King Philip came over from Germany speedily, and then I can remember the words from that. Related genera with similar flower structures are grouped together and they're known as families. The species name gives us information about the plant. Uh, a taxonomist is someone who identifies and classifies plants.